Let me get between the show stuff, man. I know. I know. I'm glad I could deliver for you. Uh, we were, I thought we were live until I heard the stuff coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I was like, wow. No, until I said the F word. Right. And then you realized I was talking to David in the talk back. And then I then I didn't realize I had a you know a little end of segment there I had to take care of. So I had to tra- I had to go from being totally furious to telling you about MasterCraft. The point is it's not right. And I'm not even gonna bring up what it is. It's wrong. That's why I was trying to stay calm during it, because I was trying to It's business you know. as usual. All right. Let's move along. Greg's in Dearborn. There. Greg, how are you? <laughs> What's Good up? afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> What's up? So uh, right now, no. I mean, if they lined them up today, Ohio State would probably, you know, hang at least, you know, hang 100 on them, right? But I think this is the best ramp up that has ever been created for a quarterback. You know, J.J. <laughs> McJesus. I mean, if you look at it, right? Yeah. Like, you know, EP plays a no defense, then he plays, you know, a no offense. And so, like, everything's perfectly ramping up. And if he doesn't have a long ball by the, by the um, Ohio State game, then we're all lost, right? So, but I think that's coming. And then also, Brian Day, we all know, you know, he's not the brightest guy out there. I mean, yeah, I think he looks like what a mix between, what do you call him? Uh, I call, he's a Bond villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but he also kind of looks like a big boy, too. You know, like the statue? He's like a mix of the two. The bad boy. But, oh, my God. But, but, no, but here we are here. So, what I, oh what I think God. what's going to happen in that, in that game, is he's going to try to hang 100 on him. And what he should do is rely on his running game. He's not going to do that. I couldn't agree with you more. And, it's the reason they didn't blow Notre Dame out. With Travion Henderson right. and with Mylon Williams, it's the best one-two they've had in quite some time. And that is a that is a physical. Even Travion's ratcheted up the physicality in his game. That is something I'm with you on this, Greg. Like, it is okay to just pound on your opponent. And I don't know that Michigan's front can handle that. Now, don't get all yeah, bent out of shape, Wolverines, but, like, who exactly had a great running game that you faced? And it's like, Maryland was fine until they decided to go full Maryland and stop running. Right. Right, but, but I mean, um, I think uh, Douglas said it the other day. They have been better with their uh, defensive line, where they kind of, I mean, with Indiana, what they had negative something yards in the second half. Right, but Indiana, so they, I mean, Greg, Greg, we talked about this. We've talked about it for weeks. Indiana has basically committed to throwing 60 times a game. That's who they are. They don't run it. I know they got the Auburn transfer Shivers. It doesn't matter. Right. They don't run it. They can't. So, I mean, yeah, great. Right. Give, them, give them a gold star because they they held Indiana to negative yards. You sacked Basilak 17 times. I mean, Christ. I know. I, I get it, man. I'm a fan. You know, I'm, I'm like crafting the win. I know it's going to be tough at the shoe because those monsters So Yeah, but you know what? Just like you've played nobody – Ohio State's primarily played nobody, and you said it. Day's ego, they want to run it up and do fashion points and all that stuff, but it doesn't mean they're unbeatable. It's, I just wanted to ask the question and have some fun. Saturday will tell right, us right, a lot. Agree. If you go out and bury Penn State, I mean, you bury him. You win 34-13. Greg, I'm going to tell you, it's going to change how I feel about the matchup with OSU. That would be impressive. Yeah. What's, what's James Franklin's war? Because I, I always, Oh, like negative 3.7. What are you kidding me? <laughs> He's horrible. You know what? You Well, shameless promotion. Listen to Cash the Ticket. Cookies had James Franklin's stats about situationally how he performs in games like this. Go get it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's theater for Michigan fans. I'll say spoiler alert. Probably not good. Be a bag alert. <laughs> Awful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not good. Yeah, you got Dotson, NFL wide receiver. Can't stop him going up against the worst secondary in college football. Here he you goes. know what? We're going to run the ball. Oh, you're talking about against Michigan State. Yeah, we're going to yeah. run that ball. That'll work. They're not going to expect that. That game against Penn State may as well Johanna, be. Johanna, Dotson is right there. Our no. win against them last year may as well be in black and white. It feels like a decade ago. <laughs> Honestly. May as well be. Like, can they do a grainy film treatment on it? Make it no, seem. It was. By the end of the day, it was all white. It was, yeah, to, it was snow. to me, it was a game that never happened. Right, you never saw it. I never even paid attention they, to the game. They even tapped into the communion wine at that point. Michigan had just beat OSU. Oh, don't worry about it, Dave. And Michigan fans are acting like last year didn't happen in some total. That Michigan State didn't win 11 and didn't beat you. For sure. And now they're out here trying to bury Tucker because he's off to an ass well, start. The referees gave them the game. Oh, will you please. Oh, will you For please. Real. Oh, will you please. It's just please. Lose a game. 
Just be done. Walker scores again. Yeah. I, the that's refs, all I see. The that's refs all I see. The game away. Aiden had the sack and the fumble in the end zone. Okay, can we not? We've done, I, I did those shows. Can we not? Can we not? David, ticket text. Then we'll get to the Big Ten. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Mike will tell you who he wants for the Heisman. <laughs> I'm living in the upside down world. Someone. Like a guy who's not even the best back in the Big Ten is continued to be forced into your orbitals by ESPN. And it's like, are we really doing this again? And then you look at the TV and you have a Michigan grad and a shill interviewing a Michigan player and pimping him for Heisman. Yeah. It may as well be CNN or Fox. Like, just choose a side. I mean, it's ESPN. Are we really? Christ. We really wondering why they're not credible? I just can't take anymore. I mean, what what's next? You're going to have Reggie Bush interview Caleb Williams and go, hey there, brother, and, and, and pimp him for Heisman? I thought we'd have that on next Saturday, right? Just can't take it. He's not even the best back in the conference. He's not even the best back in the division of his conference. I would take Travion Henderson over him. I'd take Mylon Williams over him. I'm about to go full Howard Dean. Ah! <laughs> I can't take anymore. You know, it's I'm the just upside out of, down world. I'm staying out of your way. You know what? This, folks. Do this. This is what I saw in the commercial break. Did, just do this. <laughs> they need a fourth chair in New York. Paint it maize and blue. Just put a Wolverine there every year. It doesn't matter if they deserve it or not. We're replacing the Europe trip with a trip to New York for the Heisman. It's part of the NIL. Let's just be done. Just guarantee one every year, and then we'll get the real Heisman candidates over here. We'll put a little velvet rope around it, and everyone's happy. What are you talking about? Aiden finished second in the voting. And Will Anderson had twice the year he had and didn't get invited. So if a defensive player was supposed to go, it should have been Will Anderson. Uh, go ahead. Go look up the numbers. But did he beat the Buckeyes? <laughs> he just ate the paper. <laughs> he just ate the paper. I love it. I got. I got. I got. I got to move. Go ahead. Go I, ahead. I, I got to leave. I got to leave. <laughs> it can't be this way in places like Texas or Mars. I. It's unreal.